practicing. We're going to talk about anterior instrumentation and so much of these PEs do work hand in hand that a lot of it's going to seem repetitive to you. But when I work with a patient, I follow the exact same sequence every time. I always start with the mandibular anteriors because that's where the bulk of the deposit is usually and that's the most difficult area. And I never get all of the deposit off at a first pass. And so a lot of students think they're really quite groovy and they'll, they'll do the mandibular anteriors one pass through and be done. I never do that. Even after 20 years of dental hygiene, I always leave a little bit subgingival. First of all, I start on the mandibular anteriors and I always start on 20, 22 and then go 23, 24. I'm going to start at the 11 o'clock position, which we've talked about. I'm going to tip your head a little bit and I'm going to be in the V of the hand grasp. We always start on the linguals and remember we want to start with the toe down and we want to go laterally toward the tooth and then our directional stroke needs to go the direction the tooth is facing and then I need to do a twist. A twist. Can you see that? I am up on my fulcrum, but in order to get the correct angulation of the blade to the tooth, I am, I am um, a little bit angled down. Do you see what I mean? Versus straight up and down, you need to get that correct angulation. So then I do the twist. You go to the next tooth. You're starting right there. But see when where, when we were talking about just the toe third of the tooth of the instrument. See the tiny tiny bit of that instrument I'm using. A lot of times I see students doing this. They're using just too much. They're using the, like the middle part of that instrument. You're really only using that tiny bit of the toe. I do a little bit of a circular stroke there so that the the instrument can kind of push the gingiva away so I'm not poking them. And I'm going to get off what straight lingual and then turn, 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 turn all the way into the interproximal area. So the whole time I'm providing lateral pressure, turn, 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 and I'm still going toward the tooth, toward the toe, the direction the toe is facing, and twist, and twist. So do that with every tooth. But I kind of go through and get bulk deposit off, and then I come around here now, same thing. I'm in the V of the hand grasp, I'm going to use just a tiny bit of the toe, start straight facially, and then turn, 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 turn. Now if you're not used to doing that kind of heavy turning, Maybe just even try it on the straight facial part because you need to start here and turn, 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 turn. See how quickly I'm turning? A lot of times patient students will gouge patient gingiva because they're just not turning enough. Maybe just that much. Even that much, if we could look really, really close, that's still going to gouge the gums. So you get in there and you turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 turn. And then what I do sometimes is just take my instrument to provide myself with like a little bit of, I mean my thumb, to provide myself with a little bit of control right here. I never use another finger to, and, and get in the way of my view. Sometimes people will go like this and then they can't see what they're doing. So I always go under the blade. Do you see what I mean? So that's all from 11 o'clock. See how I'm up, 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 up? I don't want to see this. Look at what the toe of the look at where the toe of the instrument is. It's going coronal. So how are you going to get a piece that's down here? You need to be up, 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 and you need to sneak in with the tiny bit of that toe. Okay? Don't do this. I tell you what, I will be on you like white on rice <laughs> if I see you flat on your fulcrum. So let's go now to the eight o'clock position. I am going to get so on you <laughs> if I see you trying to do the mesials of 22, 23, 24, distals of 25, 26, 27 from the 11 o'clock position. You absolutely have to move so that your lateral pressure is correct going toward the tooth. So now what I would do here is I would come up, up, up. I want to lead with a tiny bit of that toe. Remember we're just using the front third and we're going to start here and then remember my strokes going laterally. It's going the direction the toe's facing and then watch I'm doing a small twist here. Sorry poked you in the nose. And then we twist. Also notice I'm using the modified pen here. So we're starting right here at the bottom. Twist, 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 and turn. Okay, so I'm starting here and getting up to here. Using the modified pen grass, I'm also moving my wrist, not my fingers. But what I do is go through here now using indirect vision. Same thing, I'm coming down. And I'm turn, 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 turning. You always have to come the direction of your toe. And then I always go through. I start back at 11 o'clock and I take my explorer and I explore everywhere. Because I've done dental hygiene for 100 years now. And there are those hygienists out there that always miss that subgingival just up under the gum line. And so I do a lot of temping still. 
and I'll go around and the hygienist consistently misses everything that's just, just up under the gum line. So she got everything she could get from a flat fulcrum, but she didn't get that tiny piece down there. So I don't want any Weber State Dental Hygiene students, graduates, to be the ones missing that deposit. So I'm telling you now, don't ever think that you don't need an explorer again in your hand. Go through and do a first pass, go back and explore. There's always something still there, okay? Um, well, I wanna show you the things I don't like to see with anterior instrumentation. And this is something I see all the time. The student starts like this. So what is what is wrong with this? And I ask you that. Yeah, nothing. Oh, everything. Good job. Good answer, Christy. So this happens all the time. They just go like this, and then they don't even really twist interproximal. They just kind of go like that. So first of all, I'm not going to get much subgingivally if my toe's facing incisal, right? So I need to come up, 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 up. Up on your fulcrum you need to be almost straight up and down and I need to lead with that toe and in order to lead with that toe I almost need to hyper um, you know um, extend the instrument like this so that that toe can be the first thing subgingival because you don't want to be like this right mm -hmm. and then another thing that I talked about is making sure your strokes going toward the direction of the toe to the toe to the toe this is the most common thing I see I'm rocking backward toward the heel. And you'll hear this like all next year. You're gonna just get sick of me because so many people rock toward the heel. It's so much easier to rock this way than to get into your patient's face. Because you're simply going to miss the deposit. If, you, if you're under the deposit and you try to ping it off with ping, ping the deposit off with a stroke like this, you're using the tiny bit of that toe of the instrument to remove a heavy piece. Whereas if you go toward the toe, you're using this bulky, heavy part of the instrument to help push that off. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This is pinging it off. This is using the whole force of the instrument. I don't want you to rock toward the heel, and I don't want you to rock this way. So see how we're going toward the direction of the toe and twisting. You can hear that grip. But if you go like this, then this now changes the relationship of the blade to the tooth. So now you're just flattening, flattening your blade to the tooth and you're not very effective. You're just going to burnish deposit. So you're just going directly sideways versus that. Do you see what I mean? Okay, so that's anterior instrumentation.